Geography, Chapter 1 The Earth in the Solar System How wonderful it is to watch the sky after sunset. One would first notice one or two bright dots shining in the sky. Soon you would see the number increasing. You cannot count them anymore. The whole sky is filled with tiny shine. Universe The universe is a boundless expanse in which all matter, stars, planets, satellites, etc. exist. The theory related to the birth of the universe is called the Big Bang Theory. According to this theory, in the beginning, all matter, substances like gases, dust particles, and all elements were contained in a huge big burning ball of fire which later exploded with the Big Bang. Matter from it was thrown out with great force in all directions. From this matter, many groups of stars were formed, which we call galaxies. Our sun belongs to one such galaxy that we call the Milky Way, Akash Ganga in Hindi. The nearest galaxy to the Milky Way is Andromeda, which is 2 million light years away. Stars Any heavenly body that shines by producing its light is called a star. The sun is a star and the center of the solar system. The nearest stars to our solar system are Alpha and Proxima Centauri, which are only about 4.3 light years away from our sun. While watching the night sky, you may notice various patterns formed by different groups of stars. These are called constellations. Easily recognizable constellations are the Great Bear, also known as Ursa Major, Little Bear or Ursa Minor, Orion the Hunter, and Scorpio the Scorpion. The solar system the Sun, eight planets, satellites, and some other celestial bodies known as asteroids and meteoroids form the solar system. The sun is in the center of the solar system. It is huge and made up of extremely hot gases. It provides the pulling force that binds the solar system. The sun is the ultimate source of heat and light for the solar system. But that tremendous heat is not felt so much by us because despite being our nearest star, it is far away from us. The sun is about 150 million kilometers away from the earth. Planets The name planet is derived from a Greek word meaning wanderer. Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus and Neptune are the eight planets that revolve around the sun in fixed paths called orbits. They also rotate on their axis while revolving around the sun. Mercury, Venus, Earth and Mars are rocky while Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus and Neptune are gaseous and liquid. Recent studies have confirmed the presence of such rings also around Jupiter, Uranus and Neptune. Asteroids apart from the stars, planets and satellites, there are numerous tiny bodies which also move around the sun. These bodies are called asteroids. They are found between the orbits of Mars and Jupiter. Ceres was the largest asteroid, which has now been reclassified as a dwarf planet. Meteors The small pieces of rocks which move around the sun are called meteoroids. We often see bright streaks of light flashing through the night sky for a few seconds. We call these shooting stars. These are dislodged pieces of rocks mainly from the asteroid belt which entered the Earth's atmosphere at great speed. Some larger pieces do not burn fully and fall on the Earth forming craters. These chunks that fall on the Earth are called meteorites. The largest crater made by a meteorite is in the state of Arizona in the USA. It measures 1,200 meters across and 170 meters deep. Comets Comets are balls of dust, ice particles, and frozen gases that revolve around the sun. When they come near our sun they vaporize and form a long tail, which could extend to over millions of kilometers. These visitors are a spectacle for us as they become visible to us due to the reflected rays of the sun. The most famous comet is the Halley's Comet, which appears after every 76 years. It will appear next in the year 2062. Satellites are celestial bodies that revolve around the planets. Like the planets, satellites do not have their own heat and light but reflect the light from the sun. Different planets have varying numbers of satellites. 
Due to recent research in astronomy, many new satellites have been discovered. Moon The Moon is the Earth's only natural satellite. It is about 384,400 km from the Earth. Its diameter is one-fourth of that of the Earth and its gravity is one-sixth of the Earth's. Scientists have recently found traces of water and some gases on the Moon, but conditions are still unfavorable for life to exist on the Moon. The Moon takes about 28 days to revolve around the Earth and at the same time to rotate on its axis too. The surface of the Moon is full of craters, largely due to the bombardment of meteorites. Phases of the Moon This term refers to the different shapes of the Moon we see at night. You have just read that the moon takes about 28 days to go around the earth. The shape of the moon grows during one half of this period, which is called the waxing period, and reduces during the other half, which is called the waning period. This happens because of the moon's different positions during its journey around the earth. Thanks for watching the videos. Kindly share your comments.